Hey, welcome back to Sun Bear Specialty Coffee Roasters. A certain phenomenon happens here in Florida every year. Uh, it's something that we do a lot because it's very hot in Florida and we look forward to fall very much. So we make pumpkin spice things too soon because we want to feel like it's fall sooner than it should be. It is now the end of September and everybody is starting to already look forward to when it gets cold and the temperatures start to drop and we can have pumpkin spice things again. So we're going to go ahead and get ahead of the game a little bit. I'm making pumpkin spice uh, cold brews already and today I might even try and make a little pumpkin spice latte uh, with my espresso maker but we're going to show you how to make homemade pumpkin spice syrup first. So for the purpose of this video, these are some of the things that you're going to need. Organic pumpkin puree, um, vanilla extract, just to make things uh, pop a little bit, cloves, nutmeg, this is uh, cinnamon, and then pumpkin pie spice, which is basically like a coverall for all things. I am missing one thing, which is ginger. And so I use the pumpkin spice to cover up the fact that I'm missing something, but it tastes awesome and I hope you guys like it. I'll show you how to make it up today. So first we need one fourth cup of this pumpkin puree. And so I can go ahead and do one fourth of a cup with this. It is one fourth cup. And there we have it. Beautiful, isn't it? The thing about pumpkin, and you'll notice this really quick when you make something pumpkin tasting, if you don't add a bunch of spices to this, you can't just put pumpkin in there and all of a sudden you have that PSL sensation. It's not gonna happen because this just tastes like a gourd. It's all that it is. A pumpkin is just a gourd. And so this is important to have in there to get that really pumpkin-y taste, but you can't do this alone. So now I'm gonna show you what you have to add to it and we'll make a little mix. And we're just gonna take one tablespoon of this pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice that I already have. I'm not an exact measurer um, and you'll see that a lot with my videos, uh, but it always seems to turn out pretty close to the way I want it. Going to use let's go with one teaspoon for the rest of the things that I have on here so I've got a little bit of cinnamon and as you can see I'm getting more in there than I'm getting on there we'll go ahead and count that nutmeg if you can just take the lid off of them and then they fit in the teaspoon thing much easier there's a teaspoon of that um, what I can tell you already from doing this is that you don't want to, uh, you don't want less spice. You want to make sure the spice is the important part. So it's got to have a lot of this in there. Let's go ahead and just make sure it's got that. That's clove. Okay. And then I'm going to put about the same amount of vanilla extract in there. Okay. Okay. So here's our mixture. It's beautiful and brown, and as you can see, it's getting nice and full with this. Lots of spices that I have on here, more spice than even pumpkin. You might want to adjust that, and it makes just kind of a little hodgepodge pumpkin. Looks and smells already like a pumpkin pie, something like that. Okay, there we go. Little pumpkin-y puree. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Next, we're just gonna take a boiling pan like this. I'm gonna use that there. Uh, the important thing here is to weigh things out. Make sure that you've got an idea of what you're making. With my simple syrups, I do a two to one ratio. So I'm going to take a cup measure and I'll place this on my scale. So you're still not getting away from your coffee scale. That's a beautiful thing here is you're still measuring things out. And I'm gonna do, for this, I'll do, let's say, 150 150 grams and then I know that if I have 150 grams I have to have 75 grams of water okay so 150 right on the head I'll go ahead and place that in my pan and then I'm gonna use my purified drinking water just weigh out 75 grams literally because I want it to just be nice and thick and syrupy and so, there we go, I went a little over, but that's okay. 79 grams, it's still a little bit thick. Then we're gonna turn our oven on. I'm gonna turn it on medium high, and then we're gonna get this up to a boil, and I'm gonna take it off, and I'm gonna place it back on, and you'll see I'm gonna have a very thick, nice syrup. 
One of the struggles I have as a coffee roaster is that I don't like using generic stuff. And when I first started making syrups and or buying syrups, um, I would taste them and they tasted really nasty to me. So I thought I'm going to make my own syrups from now on. And you know what? There's enough resources out there that nobody should have an excuse for not making homemade syrup real syrup with real ingredients and so that's what i'm doing here and as my water begins to kind of boil a little bit you'll see the sugar begins dissolving i just stir that around a little bit i really can just take this and scoop it in okay just stir in your puree i'm going to turn off my burner just make sure this is all kind of equally distributed in there and we can take it off and begin letting it cool you're just going to take some kind of cheesecloth strainer or something, which is what I have around. And you're just going to take this and you want to make sure you just pour it over there so it collects all of the pumpkin that's still in there. And so we've got this in here. I'm going to pick up my little cheesecloth and let that drain out the rest of the spice. Once you're done with this, you can just transfer this over to a container of your choosing. So since we got this all done up for today, let's go ahead and make a pumpkin spice latte and see how it turns out. I will be using my Ranchilio Silvia. I have, this is a El Salvador natural that is just absolutely delicious. I go ahead and grind up my 18 grams on my Sete 270. I've got it set at about, let's see, right about five. I'm going to do it just a little bit more coarse than I had it a couple days ago. All right, 18 grams of El Salvador coffee is done here. I've already preheated my portafilter before I tamp it because I want it to be as even as I can get it. Push my group out. We're already green. This is plenty hot enough, so we are ready for a shot. And we're going to go ahead and pre-infuse this for a minute. One, two, three, four, about five seconds. So at six seconds, this is good timing here. Feeling good about this so far. 15 grams. I think I'm going to stop around 36 for 18, I think. The thing we want to do is turn on our steamer and let our wand heat up. I've got some oat milk here from today. It's Trader Joe's. Normally that's not what I use, but uh, that's what we're going to use. And here's my latte glass. I'm going to go ahead and put some pumpkin spice beautifully down here in the bottom. A little more. It's going to be nice and sweet. So I'm going to go ahead, place my shot inside here. We'll set that aside and I'm going to steam some milk real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and submerge my wine. Get that temperature going, get a good stir going in there. It's a little bit angled. I'm increasing the strength of it, letting it get that stretch in there. And I do everything by feel. And so once I feel like it's boiling extremely hot there, I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. Let the tip kind of show just a little bit. And then the next step, as you see, is my beautiful fall colors. I'm gonna go ahead and add my milk. And, uh, do the pour here. Fortunately, it'll be all stirred up by the time I get done with this. Okay. And then as we all know, the easy part, just tasting it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm sweating because I've been working a lot. I've got my espresso going. This tastes fantastic. It tastes really fall-like. Creates the illusion that outside there's leaves blowing around, the temperature has dropped. And isn't that what it's all about, after all? We just want to think that we're coming into fall. So, cheers to you. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for checking out another Sun Bear Specialty Coffee Roasters video. It's pretty darn good, man. Tastes good. I did this all by myself.